Welcome to Monarchy Marathon. In this video, I'll be comparing the two options we have for the reign of James I of England and the VI of Scotland. You can absolutely watch both, but if you only want to watch one, I'll try to help you decide which is better suited to you. Let's start with the basics. Gunpowder, Treason, and Plot came out in 2004, was 3 hours and 18 minutes long, rated 18+. Plus. Gunpowder came out in 2017, was three one-hour episodes, rated 16+, plus. but if it were up to me, I would have upped that a little bit. Let's get started. Gunpowder, Treason, and Plot is a miniseries composed of basically two movies, one about Mary, Queen of Scots, the other about her son, James. For this, I'll only be focusing on the second half about James. To see the first half, please see my video, Mary, Queen of Scots, which should I watch? The series begins with James, the King of Scotland, deciding what to do regarding his mother's death, then waiting for Elizabeth I to die so he can inherit her throne in England. It ends with the story of Guy Fox. Script. The script is a mix of plot lines and characters. It primarily follows James, showing us what he had to do to gain the throne of England and the difficulties of navigating religious politics at the time. It also touches on the evolution of his relationship with his wife, Anne. At the same time, it follows different members of the gunpowder plot, like Thomas Percy and Robert Catesby. Overall, it kept my attention, but you could tell they didn't have the time to develop the characters as much as they wanted. They tried getting around this by having the actors suddenly look directly at us, the audience, telling us their backgrounds, thoughts, and motivations. I understand why they did it, but it still felt off and disjointed. Acting. Robert Carlyle as James I stole this show for me. He was playing a very unlikable character, yet he made him human and sometimes, somehow, sympathetic. I don't think I would have liked this nearly as much if it wasn't for his performance. Production design and costuming. This is not a pretty show, but I think that was at least partially on purpose to show us how poor the king and the country were. Nothing so weird and strange that it distracted me from the series. If you're here for glamorous aesthetics, probably not the right choice for you. Sex and nudity, violence and gore. Beware, this is another show that has a lot of forced sexual encounters. It really didn't shy away from violent sexual acts and was sometimes hard to watch. Also, gruesome and bloody body piles. Next we have Gunpowder. This miniseries starts when James I has already been on the throne for a while and is struggling with the religious politics in the kingdom. The entire story revolves around the gunpowder plot. Script. The show follows Robert Catesby, the leader who planned the gunpowder plot of 1605. The story primarily follows the Catholics' point of view and their plot against the king and Protestants, with some reactionary moments from Robert Cecil and James I. King James is not in it a lot, but it does give the viewer an idea of his character and disposition. It's filled with suspense and kept me on the edge of my seat nearly the entire time. For those of us outside of the UK, it's a great way to learn where Guy Fox Knight came from. Acting. I was very impressed with this cast. There was no moment that I was taken out of the scene by bad acting. I thought Kit Harington as Robert Catesby did a great job showing us his desperation. Also, I'm a fan of Mark Gatiss, so watching him as Robert Cecil was a treat for me. It's been a long time since I've seen Liv Tyler in anything. I thought she gave a standout performance as Anne. Guy Fox was played by Tom Cullen, and James I was played by Derek Riddle. Production Design and Costuming We so rarely see such good sets and costuming for this time period. I really felt how dirty and difficult it would have been to live in that time, and then contrast that with how the king and his nobility lived. This is definitely the choice for you if that's what you're looking for. Sex and nudity, violence and gore. This show is very violent and gory. In the very first episode, you watch an old woman tortured to death in detail, and it certainly does not stop there. Definitely brutal. But I'm thinking realistic for the time period? I recommend the squeamish have their fast forward button ready. There is no sex, but there is casual nudity. Final opinion. This is a pretty easy choice breakdown. 
Either way, you're going to get the story of Guy Fox. If you're mostly here to watch King James I, then you're better off going with Gunpowder, Treason, and Plot. If you care more about good storytelling, bigger budget production and design, and don't mind brutal torture scenes, then Gunpowder is the way to go. Also, exciting news! A new seven-episode series has been announced called Mary and George that should be releasing later this year in 2023. The cast lineup includes James I and Charles I. I'm excited to see what they do with it. That's it. Thank you all for watching.